Hello, Nadim here with PC Solutions Net. Today I'm going to talk about application virtualization. You've probably already have your server workloads virtualized and you are using most of your resources on the servers that are available, so no wasted resources, uh, which is just a greener way of doing things and also conserves energy and at the same time saves you money. We're not going to talk about the server side of things today. We're going to talk about the application side of things. So there are already a few heavy hitters in the market. Uh, one is VMware. Their application package, application virtualization package is called Thinstall. And another one is Microsoft. They have a package called AppV. Now both of these packages are paid for and they are pretty expensive. Uh, but there are other companies, like uh, one of the companies I will talk about today, uh, it's called Cameo. And Cameo uh, right now is free, so you can for free virtualize your applications. Uh, they even have a website where you can upload your virtualized application packages so other people can download those same packages. Uh, if you cannot find a virtualized package online, you can simply create your own package. The best part about application virtualization is you do not have to install the application on every machine that you have to run it on. So basically you run it once, you make the package, and then you can run that package on any other machine without having to install the application. All the helper files, DLL files, executable files, everything is contained in one package file. You simply double click on that package file and run it. Like in this case, I'm going to download IDA64 Extreme Edition from Cameo's website and as you can see I don't have to install it I simply download the file and once it's downloaded it I can save it anywhere like on the desktop on a thumb drive or maybe even uh, in the cloud like someplace like Dropbox or something like that so if I have it somewhere in the cloud or on a thumb drive that means I can download it and run it on any machine uh, if it's on the thumb drive, I can run it directly from that thumb drive on any machine, whether it's my machine, my friend's machine, or a machine at a hotel somewhere uh, in, a, in a hotel kiosk. So now that I've downloaded this IDA64 application and I've saved it to the desktop, I simply double click it and I run it. Of course, we get the standard warnings from Windows 7. And we choose the edition, which edition we want to run. And we're going to run the uh, 64 Extreme Edition. So we did not have to install it, simply download and run. And we don't have to worry about cleanup after we're done. Uh, once we run it, we do our thing. And uh, as you can see, it runs pretty good and that's because it is an eval version so we got that message but it's running just like normal IDA64 uh, Extreme Edition and uh, it's giving us the information of the system now just want to show you that we don't have the application installed so we don't have the file sitting in program files or program files x86 uh, basically the system is clean there is only one file on the system which is on the desktop that is running our entire package, our entire IDA64 package. And when we're done, we simply delete that one file that we downloaded and installed, and uh, the system is in its pristine condition as it was before running IDA64. So this is a very good way of running applications uh, or making applications portable so you can run them on any machine no matter where you go and uh, when you're done you don't leave traces behind on other machines.